And now on to Med Love. This is proudly presented here by a gorgeous young hostess by the name of Miss Sarabi Kanal. Sarabi G is an out-of-state college student and yet she comes to our studio for filming. A few weeks ago, we all caught her with an interview conducted in Nepali with a politician by the name of Harry Pindari, who is District 8 Maryland State Delegate candidate. Let's see all she has to question him on this set of Med Love for this week. This is Med Love here on month with monthly talks here on Global Television Network. Welcome to all of you in the United States and around the world. I'm your hostess, Sarabi Kanal. With the two sections of its name, MedLove carries two aspects of its service. Today, we will glorify the love aspect as we speak about an upcoming election and its potential of influencing the community. On the show today, we have a candidate of the state of Maryland who is a candidate for delegate in the, for the elections in June. Please welcome on the show, Mr. Harry Pandari of the Maryland's 8th Legislative District. Thank you. Thank you. Now, MedLove's episodes are known for spe spreading awareness and stories. I, he I hear you are a Nepalese American. Before we jump right into the interview, would you give us a little about your background and describe yourself? What motivates you to public service? I came to the United States in uh, 2005. I started working at a gas station, went to graduate school, and still pursuing my PhD. This country has offered me a tremendous opportunities uh, and I want to pay the debt by serving the community in the Maryland General Assembly. And uh, the, the philosophy is we must be the part of the community where our children will grow. And we need to have a lot of courage to help the vulnerable one for their uh, search for life, liberty, and pursuit of social happiness. That always drives me. It was great meeting such an inspiration. I'm sure there are a lot of youth out there that want to get involved in the community who just lack a mentor like you, especially youth that are minorities. Thank you for taking the initiative. What a role in Asian American leaders can take in the community. Now, what um, promotes organizing this diversity? Yeah, we, we tend to agree that diversity um, is a good that uh, data of many social science researcher uh, that proves that diversity has become more kind of idealized than actualized. Um, and uh, diversity is a new cornerstone, um, cornerstone of our democracy. We should move away from mere celebration of diversity towards a critical um, diversity. So what that means is that it's not the only diversity uh, of uh, people. It should ensure equity, parity, and opportunity. It should only be, not be embracing a cultural uh, differences. Each individual should be recognized or uh, his or her own abilities, interests, ideas, and cultural identity, and the development of critical thinking that enables individuals to participate effectively in their community affairs um, in a collaborative effort to achieve a common good. It is a broad vision for our nation, which was founded by immigrants. It's about trading ideas with the best mind in the field, example of technological diversity, diversity of ideas in innovation. The concept of global village, the world politics is gravitating from Eurocentric to Asian uh, center. Asian community leaders coming to mainstream can be wonderful for our country's economic power, export our goods, uh, uh, plus the giant trouble spot like North Korea uh, is located in Asia. Asian Americans' involvement in political uh, politics has multifold benefits to our country and diversity is the strength of our country as well. Wow. Generally, Asian Americans are considered successful. Do you face any myth or stereotype? Uh, Surabi, this hypothesis is built on the unstable footing on which the model minority hypothesis, I believe there is a flaw on the concept of model minority framework. In 1984, President Roland Re uh, Reagan praised Asian Americans for accomplishing the American dream, saying that if you work hard enough, you will achieve success. Wherever you are in America, reflecting its origin in civil rights movement, those in the American, uh, like a student, uh, and they all look alike. You know, in America, like when you are from Asia, all look alike. You know, it's just another racial slur to perpetuate the ignorance in society. The Asian American model minority is a myth because of categories of race, like Asian American, Native Americans, or Hispanic. 
are, are not valid variables in social science. It also creates stress, discrimination, and alienation to Asian American students, which largely have become invisible to policymakers. As a nation, we have to think deeply on a daunting question, how can we improve the place of a right to equal education for all in a democracy and fight against societal evil, such as uh, model minority myth? We should not wait longer to implement effective programs like multiculturalism and diversity training in all settings to address such stereotypes so that America can find a clear purpose and rationale for its uh, citizen uh, and their pr prosperity. Wow, those are great objectives. After reading about you, I know you were involved in the Young Democrats of America pretty early in your career. Was it easy or difficult to get representation? For the youth that want to get involved in politics, what else is your advice for them and how should they begin? I started from a local county chapter and attended YD's local conference, I mean national conferences and served as a, a national secretary of Young Democrats of America Minority Caucus. My advice would be, you know, start uh, from your um, of town or community. Politics is always local. Mm -hmm. What is your opinion on the immigration system and how would you overcome obstacles being a minority as far as statistics go? Thank you. The immigrants, uh, um, uh, immigration is one of the great source of America's success, I, I, I told before. Unfortunately, many children uh, are at the competitive disadvantage in school because their parents work longer hours, make less, and struggle uh, with the English language. Immigrant children whose parents work uh, longer hours get, uh, uh, should get the academic support at home and thus are the you know, significant disadvantages. So the government has to uh, make sure that those immigrant children are getting help. If one community, uh, one child is left behind, either that's Nepalese American or Chinese American or European American, whole America will be left behind. Therefore, the equity, parity, uh, and justice should be there. That is wonderful, and that is a very good philosophy that all youth will probably follow. Thank you for being such a good mentor to those Asian American and to all um, immigrate, immigrants of our society today. Um, stay tuned for next episode. Next month's episode, here we will discuss more service on your segment with MedLove. This is your hostess, Robbie Canal, signing off.